found a time in Texas, and the bloom is on the stage. tonight. <laughs> Say, do you call this working, cowboy? You know, I was just thinking. No. Take a look at that moon up there, boy. Gee, what a night to hit the trail. What do you say we quit and drift? Say, I'm just beginning to get the wrinkles in my belly ironed out. For the last two years, all we've been doing is wandering around. Why, we've hit every ranch in the southwest. Well, why not try the north? Say, how'd you like to see that Colorado country again, boy? Way up in them beautiful mountains, plenty of fishing, hunting. Now, there ain't no use in you painting pretty pictures, Sim Baldwin. This is a good outfit, and I'm going to stay right here till I either cash in or get fired. You mean you won't leave unless you get fired? It sure does. Now, cut out the moon and First thing you know, you'll be getting my feet itching. Then what's going to happen? Come on. Come on there, Baldy. What do you say, Sam? I sure. Bear down on it. He always sings the right music and the right way. Back for the inside of the war. That stinky baby gave him such a funny meter to the roar. Here's me and Holly Rotten. When they hear the bell, the gun for the white shirt, folks all know. He's a hyperloop-looping, two-pounder got the barrels on the right time, cowboy. Oh, you cowboy, right time, cowboy, Joe. Keep it on, look at that! Stop being so good! Don't be on that, man! Talk to you, go over! Hey, you trying to get us in trouble riding through camp that way? No, of course not. Well, it sure looks it. Boy, I'm plenty tired tonight. Why don't you go on down and go to bed? I'll unsaddle your old stick for you. Hey, that ain't no stick. And how is it you're getting so accommodating all of a sudden? Oh, go to bed. Well, it looks mighty peculiar, but I'll take you up on it. Good night, baby. Silver, something tells me we're going to travel tonight. Ah, go lay an egg. Oh, you can lay. You'll both be looking for a new boarding house. Boarding house? <laughs> Madhouse. Get 
Started this cockeyed rumpus. I think you're both crazy. Now pack up and get out of here. You're fired. Hey, you can't fire us. We quit. I said you was fired. We quit. Sure, we quit. What did you say? I lost it home as a mollet, all this home for running at Brunel Fetish. Come on, let's get out of here. You pack that. More trouble. you so funny all of a sudden? I was just thinking how slick it worked. How slick what worked? Didn't you say that you wasn't leaving here unless you cashed in or got fired? Yeah. Well, you're too healthy to die, so I had to get you fired. Whoa. Do you mean to tell me that you've done that on purpose just to get us fired? Sure. Well, you say for two cents I just... Wait a minute now. You know, Dad busted well. You're just as anxious to travel as I am. Ah, oh, you're wrong this time, Sim. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. You know, I ain't getting no younger. And I got sort of a hankering for something solid. Gee, I'm sorry, Ronnie. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's all right. I know where I can get a steady job down south away, Where everything's peaceful and quiet. Now, I'll tell you. You go ahead and ramble around for a while if you feel as though you got her. And when I get all set down below, I'll let you know. You just keep in touch with Bill Wolf over at the bar ramp. You ain't sore, are you, Ranny? Sore? <laughs> I wouldn't have worked for that buzzard another day anyhow. You know, Ranny, you're the best pal a fella ever had. Yes, and ain't nothing gonna change it, son. Well, I guess here's why we part company for a little while, Sim. Take good care of yourself, you old son of a gun. I will. Adios. Bye-bye.
Watch him there. Go on yours, cowboy. You think that saddle's going to fit him? Just like the paper on the wall. Well, here goes the glue for the paper. Get your slack. All right, get a hold of that blind there, Walt. You ready? <laughs> Why don't you settle down so you get your mail once in a while? <laughs> yeah, but I made one more move, Ben. They wouldn't have had room enough to put the forwarding address on. <laughs> <laughs> Is your Randy getting married or something? No, but listen to this. I'm working at a place called Shadow Ranch. Sounds kind of spooky, don't it, huh? Sure does. It's owned by a girl. Can you tie that kid, me working for a girl? <laughs> Go on there, boy. That show sounds good. There's a buzzard by the name of Blake that's making it pretty tough for my little boy. I'm waiting word from her to step on him, but maybe I'll do it without waiting. The fireworks is due to start right soon now. Would you like to come down and set in the game, Sim? It would be just like old times. We haven't been together for a long time now, and I'd sure like to see you, your old pal, Ranny. Sure sounds promising, don't it? Figure on leaving us, Sim? Yes, sir, right away, if you don't mind. She kind of looks like Randy needs me down there. We've been pals for a mighty long time. Yes, I know. Well, we're sorry to see you go, son. But your old job will be waiting for you if you ever drift back this way. That's mighty fine of you. And I sure appreciate it. Well, let's go on over to the house. Get something to eat and... We'll figure out your wages. That sounds good to me. And if you need any more help, cowboy, just pop your old pistol. We'll be there. <laughs> okay, Benny. Boy, and I ain't had no trouble for a long time. I think oh, I got my work. Maggie. Don't let that worry you, darling. We can get along all right. Who was waiting to stay, could you, Ranny? No, Mom. They're afraid of Blake. Danny, I'm beginning to think that our fight isn't worthwhile. Sure it is. Say, we ain't licked yet. Blake may run this whole county to suit himself, but now he's overstepped his hand. I'm going into Rawson and have a showdown with him tonight. No, Ranny. It's too dangerous. Say, do you think I'm going to stand around peaceful-like and let that buzzard make you sell out to him? Not by a jug full. I'm going to step on him. Randy's right, Miss Ruth. He needs stepping on. Say, Randy, do you mind if I go along with you? I'll skin the skunk and I'll let you tan his hide. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, Maggie. You stay here with Miss Ruth. Randy, I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, shucks. Say, now, there ain't a thing to worry about. Is there, Maggie? Not a thing in the world. See? <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I wish Tim Baldwin was here. We'd sure have some fun with Blake and that bunch of sidewinders of his tonight. You all would like my pal. They don't make them any better. Well, good night, folks. Good night, Randy, me boy. Well, did those two cow punches quit? Yeah, they quit all right, Mr. Blake. But Danny Williams got all riled up. He's on his way to town right now to have a showdown with you. Hmm, a showdown, eh? Well, if it wasn't for him, I'd have had Shadow Ranch long ago. Can't we do something about it? I think so. Now listen. When Randy Williams rides into town tonight, I want you to see that he doesn't ride out again. All you've got to do is use your head. But it's got to appear as though he started the argument. Right. Now get a move on. As your attorney, don't you think I had better keep out of this? Getting yellow? Who oh, no. But this fellow, Ranny Williams, is pretty quick on the trigger. Get across the street, Joe. Up the line away, Tex. Why don't you look where you're going? You won't have to look where you're going if you don't keep out of my way. No? No. Well, you didn't get away with it that time, Curly. Where's Blake? Thank you. 
sure given us a cheerful welcome, eh, Silver? We'll angle on down to town and find out where the Shadow Ranch is. Then we'll see Ranny. Sounds good, eh, son? Let's drift, partner. Town today, well, I reckon most everybody's going to the funeral. Yeah, I passed him up the road there a ways. Say, brother, can you tell me where I can find a fellow by the name of Ranny Williams? He's forming a shadow ranch. You ought to know him. He was forming a shadow ranch. What do you mean? That's Ranny Williams. They're planting up on the hill now. What happened? Got killed in a shooting scrape. Shot in the back. Son of a gun, you, you couldn't duck that one, could you? You know Mr. Williams? Yeah. Who owns this land? Why, I do. How much will you take for ten foot square, right here? Are you serious? How much? Oh, I guess about ten dollars will be plenty. I can't figure why you picked this spot. It isn't fit to plant a buzzard in. That's just what I want it for. A buzzard. Follow that umbrella. And remember, the road to Shadow Ranch is closed to strangers. Right. 
You bring that deed with you? Yes, sir. All drawn up as for your instructions. Come on with me. We're going to shadow rent. What will you drink? This will be all right. <laughs> hey, partner, did you know Ranny William? He was a friend of yours? The best I ever had. Mine, too. A very good friend. Who killed him? Do you know? Nobody knows. But it's a dangerous question to ask in Rawson. Yeah? Who makes it so dangerous? Maybe you can tell me the way to Shadow Ranch. What do you want at Shadow Ranch? I guess that's my business. Well, I'm making it my business. You don't say so. Yes, I'm telling you. Shadow Ranch. That's Then, Miss Cameron, this document, which transfers your property to my client, Mr. Blake, is fairly equitable. I drew it up myself. Now, if you will please sign on this line. Mr. Blake, I consider your visit here today an insult. But my dear Ruth, you can't run this place alone. Thanks to you. You don't think I'd do anything to hurt you? Oh, no. But it seems rather strange that most of my cattle have disappeared, my cow hands driven away, and then Ranny Williams killed. Oh, I know it's all very unfortunate, Ruth, but why don't you let me help you? You know I've always cared for you, and if you'd... I think we have nothing more to say. You're the same stubborn little girl, aren't you, Ruth? Why don't you take a hint, Blake? You're as crooked as a ram's horn. Now get out of here. Thank you. Just let me know when you change your mind, Ruth. Here comes that puncher. 
I told Curly to watch him. Well, we meet again. This is Shadow Ranch, I take it. We take it right. Are you figuring on locating him? Maybe. It's a kind of a general outfit, cowboy. So I understand. If I was you, I'd just keep moving. I'll take my chances. Then we'll meet again. Pleasure will be mine, gents. Adios. I'd sure care a lot for it. Big gully's not get you so many deeds like this, Gypsy. Thank Fine, you. Maggie. Won't you sit down? Thank you. You know, I'm awfully sorry that I was late getting here on account of Randy. And if Blake gets my property with its water supply, he'll control the whole valley. It's very kind of you to offer to take Randy's place. But I can't let you. You'd be marked for murder, too. I'm going to sell out and go away. Granny wouldn't let you sell, would he? Neither will I. You'll let me stay, won't you, miss? I, uh, I can't pay you very much. Well, that's all right. I'll be paid when I get the umbi that killed Ranny. Then what's our first move, Sim? Um, Mr. Baldwin? Sim will do. Kind of sounds more homelike. All right, Sim. Well, if you don't mind, I'll take a look around and sort of get my bearings. I'll go with you. All right. Find her to leave in charge. You let that punch get through the shadow ranch. You see him? Why didn't you stop him? What are you trying to do? Argue with me? Oh, boy, did that I... It appears he's a friend of Randy Williams. And that means... It means that if he interferes with my plans, he follows Randy Williams. There's all the 
what's left of 2,000 heads. I'm sure there were twice as many a week ago. Maybe some of them are straight on the lower range. We got time to take a look before dark if you want to. All right, Mr. Foreman. Looks like he'll rest peaceful like for a while. Let's drift. I knew this would happen. I shouldn't have let you stay here in the first place. It's all my fault. Sim, are you all right? Sim, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, I guess. This got grazed a little. I reckon that fall knocked me out. Oh, I'm sorry. It's funny those things happen that way sometimes.
all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay now. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, Mom, I'm mighty sure I'm all right. Uh, I, I, I reckon we better go round up the rest of them cattle before it gets dark, don't you? All right. Well, come on. You've got the finest body of water in this country here, do you know it? That river over there is a tip of a pretty spot. Oh, I'm, I'm caught. It's not here. If you take your boot off, I'll fix it for you. Oh, can't you tap it on just the way it is? I was saying if you'd run that river through Mint Canyon, you could open up that whole back country. I'll get myself two or three cowboys, and we'll have this place running in full blast in no time. What do you think, Miss Ruth? I think you're splendid, Sam. Things seem different now that you're here. Well, let's start talk about this river now. Let's let's just figure on Mint Canyon and now you see that little spot right over there? You can make your cut like Howdy folks! Howdy Cupid! wants to see you. Mr. Blake knows where to find me when he wants me. Mr. Blake ain't accustomed to people disregarding his orders. And that applies to you, too, sir. Oh, yeah? What am I, Baldwin? Now keep him up. <laughs> meaning of this? No cause for alarm, Miss Cameron. Mr. Blake desires a friendly chat with Mr. Baldwin. Sure, that's all. You can't take him away. I won't let you. Man, say it, listen. Let go of me. Let go of my hand. Right down this way. No, you don't. No, you don't. Reach for the sky, you high hoodlum. Come on, stick him up. She's liable to shoot you. I've seen that sapphire here, round the house, and I knew devilment was afloat. Your hunch was right, Maggie. I'm much obliged to you. You answer to Mr. Blake for this. Mr. Blake's getting my answer pronto. Maggie, you better take Miss Ruth on home. Here's your gun, Sam. Thanks. Come on, darling. I hope he hangs him. I'm going to prepare my answer for Mr. Blake. Shove off. Come on, make it throttle. Come on, turn right around that tree there when you get in. Dan, what's the big idea? What's it to you? Get in there. Now you can stop right along there somewhere. Well, gents, this is just liable to be a little painful. You know, this room is about two feet near that big fat jelly fish. You know, I'd have blew his head off and he'd never know what to tell the tale. I tell you, this is inhuman. Come on, come on, get busy. Say, hey, don't you think you're going to get away with this, cowboy? Never mind the argument. Come on, you rooster, start moving. I won't stand for this. Come on, start moving. Get out of there. I'm embarrassed. You don't even know where it's at. Get moving. Stop right along there. 
Can't you do something? Oh, shut up. You're just digging your own grave, cowboy. Oh, yeah? Come on, get on the way. You can't do this. Well, he's doing it, isn't he? Come on, I have to take that gravel now. Get it moving. And you want to see me, Blake. Get out of the country, Baldwin, and get out quick. Not until I get the buzzard that shot Rennie Williams in the back. I'll lay odds that you can put your finger on that man. Meaning what? Just this. I'm giving you till 8 o'clock tonight to name him. And I'm giving you till 8 o'clock to get out of the country. Savvy? 8 o'clock then, eh, Blake? Yeah. Eight o'clock. Be sure and wind your watch. Please don't go. You'll only walk into a trap. It's come to a showdown, Miss Ruth. And I'm not backing out now. Don't you understand? They'll kill you just like they did Ranny. I figured on taking that chance. Please, Miss Ruth. I've got to stop him, Maggie. By riding through Eagle Pass, I figure I can beat him to town. I'll see Blake myself. He can have the ranch. But oh, Ruth, please!
You quit when I tell you to. You tell me nothing. I know too much. What do you mean? Would it help your standing if people learn that you shot Randy Williams in the back? Where's Paul? He's on his way here. And that's what I came to see you about. Yeah, well, you're too late now. Don't. There he comes. for my answer, Blake. I want the man that shot Randy with him. You're looking at him now. I ought to shoot you in the back, the same as you shot Randy. But I got a better idea. I'm going to try to skin you alive.
I reckon you won't be having any more trouble now, Miss Ruth. I got you four or five good hands, and I think they can take care of your place all right. I'll be drifting along. Drifting where, Sim? Oh, I don't know. Anywhere. You see, I've always been a drifter. Never staying in one place very long. Do you really want to drift this time, Sim? <laughs> <laughs> 